Okay, it's time for another sci-fi original movie review. Fire and Ice. Set in uh, medieval times. Essentially, you have a village that's being attacked by a fire dragon. The village doesn't look that bad for a sci-fi movie. The acting... Lots of the characters end up being, you know, fairly stereotypical. Like, uh, the princess is very headstrong. And, you know, when she goes to find uh, the, the dragon slayer in the forest... He comes off as kind of that prickish, you know, but like heart of gold, Robin Hood sort of character. The the uh, there's another kingdom, and their king, of course, is evil. So of course he is stock evil king. But it all comes off believable. So essentially, you know, they're attacked by the fire dragon. The princess goes out to find the dragon hunter, who's an exiled knight from their kingdom. Okay, you know, finds him. He's not alive, but his son is. And his son is being helped by, uh, I always forget the dude's name. But he was in Indiana Jones, and he was Gimli the Dwarf. So Gimli, that's what you call from here on out, essentially helps build devices to help fight dragons. Does it seem kind of like a movie that came out by DreamWorks recently? But anyways, they find out that the reason why that dragon, the fire dragon, is attacking their kingdom and not the evil king's kingdom, is because he has a dragon egg. And apparently a dragon will not attack where there's the opportunity to harm part of its offspring. They go and capture the people from the good kingdom, go and capture the egg from the bad kingdom. It's an ice dragon. They then kind of torture the egg using fire to get the ice dragon, that's fire and ice, to attack the fire dragon, because the ice dragon is stronger. My only complaint about this movie is that the dragons look like giant manta rays. Beyond that, they don't look that bad for a sci-fi movie. They actually put a budget into this. It's not like, you know, like Dino Shark or uh, Crocodino or all those bizarre ones where it just looks really super cheesy. It actually comes off looking pretty good. You know, the fire dragon is made by the ice dragon. And then to defeat the ice dragon, they take him to the Salt Mountains. I was like, you know, this, somebody actually kind of thought this through. And it's actually it's actually a pretty good sci-fi movie. You know, the, the acting is decent. The plot is actually well thought out. And the special effects actually aren't that bad. So if you didn't see Fire and Ice, if you like dragons, you like medieval movies, this is actually, it's watchable, which is really weird for a sci-fi movie.